So I hope you got to play around for a bit with the sample screen that I provided for you. But now we want to talk for a bit about universes. So the universe or the group of stocks that we're going to be ranking and screening from. Now go ahead and click on the research tab. Under the submenu components, click on universes. Click new, click stock. From here we have to choose a starting universe and after we select that starting universe, we can further add rules, our own custom ideas and rules, to get the pool of stocks that we want. So let's open up the starting universe tab. Multi-country, USA major, USA other, Canada. I'm going to keep it as USA major, and I'm going to pick the Russell 3000 universe, or Russell for copyright reasons, and click OK. From here, we can further add our own rules. Now, typically, you're not going to want to make it overly strict at this point. You're going to want to do a lot of that later in the stock screen or in the simulation strategy. If you go overly strict, it's just going to make things wonky. So probably a simple liquidity filter might be suitable at this point. And there are a couple of ways that you can do it. So here are all the factors that we can choose from. One way is just to simply type in the search bar. That's probably the easiest of what you want. So we want to have a market cap. So just type in the word market and it shows up market capitalization. That's the one we want. So we can double click it and it'll add it down here into a rule. We can click on add. It'll do the same thing. And you can also click on full description to read about what this factor is. Ooh, very exciting. Price times shares outstanding. We knew that. Close that. We're going to click add. From here, we have to decide what is going to be our market cap filter. We want a market cap of at least. Now, remember, this is in millions. So we type in market cap, market cap greater than 1,000 million or a billion we're going to want to add freeform rule, add another rule. Okay. Now this time, we're not going to use the search function. We're just going to type directly into the box what we want. I mean, you can go through and you can look, you can click on expand and actually look through and find, say, okay, it's a technical factor, price and volume. Yes, that's what I want and then just click through each one. It'll show you everything that's here. Volume, averages, liquidity. This is what we want. Average, daily, total. And you could click on it and add it in. But instead, we're going to collapse that. Go down here and just type it in. So it has something to do with volume. Just type in the word volume. And up comes this menu. Click average, daily, total. So Average daily total, what is it? Well, let's, nope, they don't have a description. They have a little brief thing down here. Average daily total amount traded. The price times the volume for the past number of bars. So here we can say for the past 200 days, and we don't need an offset. You can put in zero. We want it to be greater than now this is in actual dollars. This isn't in millions. So it's important to know, you know, some are in millions, some are in actual dollars. So over the last 200 days, how much money should the stock have traded every single day? Let's go ahead and just put in 1 million. Make sure that I got a million. Okay, so a very simple liquidity filter. We start with the Russell 3000 or the Prussell. Market cap is greater than a billion, and the amount of dollar volume going through the stock on average over the last 200 days, $1 million a day. Just gonna hit run screen to see how many stocks we have passing, or I could just hit totals. 1,959 of the 3,000 stocks are passing, or 1,956 stocks, sorry, are passing our two filters. For here, you're going to want to click the Save button up here, Save As, and find a name, 
some sort of a naming mechanism so that it'll be instantly obvious what this is. So I'm going to go R3K, uh, 1 billion, and 1 million turnover. As you see here in visibility, if you set it to public, this will be accessible to everyone, as we've seen earlier, that you can search through public screens, universes, ranking systems. In general, you'll probably want to keep everything private because when you find that secret sauce in a great system, you'll probably want to keep it to yourself. So select private. You can categorize them if you want. I wouldn't worry about that. And hit save. So that's it. You've created your first Portfolio 123 Universe. Congratulations.